The year is 1923. The mood of the day is pervaded by political and financial turmoil. These are times of change, when the map of Europe is being redrawn and dictators are assuming power. But it is also a period during which the economy is being rebuilt following the First World War. Many companies, both large and small, are encountering difficulties in being paid on time or securing payment from their customers at all. Long periods of credit are not uncommon. Companies are encountering problems with profitability and in the worst cases, go bankrupt. Stockbroker Sven Jorensen has been wondering how to find a way to help business and industry obtain more secure payment paths. He founds Justitia's Uplistningsbüro AB, which gradually becomes an important part of the business community. In 1923, Justitia's Uplistningsbüro is one of the pioneers and recognizes that both credit information and collection operations are necessary in order to get to grips with the issues. Justitia takes a practical approach and establishes a network of officers covering large parts of Sweden who are able to answer questions regarding creditworthiness. In 1937, Sven Jorensen sells the entire operation to his largest competitor, Solidität, and starts a new company with a new strategy, focusing on specialized collection operations. The new company is named Justitias Incaso och Juridiska Biro AB. Following the end of World War II, there is strong growth in both the economy and society. In the 1950s and 60s in particular, there is a strong upswing in buying on credit, and Swedish business and industry grows increasingly strong. Juridiska Biro AB becomes Sweden's dominant collection agency. At this time, Sven Jorensen's son, Bo Jorensen, takes over the helm building a group of companies and expanding the business by acquiring other companies. The expansion in Europe continues in the 1980s through acquisitions and new startups. The offering of a comprehensive range of services for credit administration is developed. Up to the present day, Intrum Justitia has established numerous companies and is now present in 20 countries. In 1982, the group changes its name to Intrum Justitia and conducts operations in several areas – collection, financial and administrative services, and factoring. I think it was in the summer of 1981, or in the new year of 1982. I read a book about a book, and there was a very obscure company that was an economy that was in New York. Och det bolaget det hette Intrum Art eller någonting liknande. Så jag, jag fäste med min namnet Intrum då. Och, och det, blev, det blev Intrum Justitia på det sättet. In the early 1990s, awareness of Intrum Justitia is far too low among companies and the general public throughout Europe. While the collection sector suffers from a poor reputation in certain parts of the continent. To strengthen the brand and change opinion, we take on a number of projects. We participate in the Whitbread Project, one of the world's most famous sporting events. The project generates considerable media attention before, during and after the actual race. The ocean yacht Intrum Justitia crosses the finish line in second place and generates great commercial success. We work with opinion making by being active lobbyists in Brussels, increasing awareness of good credit management and warning of the risks of high indebtedness. We also work to increase consumers' skills in private finance, for example through the Swiss School Award, Students, Debt and Money. Consumer organizations, the media, politicians, teachers and celebrities help young people understand the importance of spending responsibly. In the years leading up to the second decade of the new millennium, we at Intrum start to proudly use the expression, we are a catalyst for a sound economy. Following decades of work, Intrum Justitia is now a unified group with a shared brand and an increasingly similar range of services and working methods 
in all the countries that we are represented in. A great deal has happened since the outset, and many skilled people have worked to build the Interim Justitia we see today. Interim Justitia's past, present and future involve generating the greatest possible benefit for our clients through our wide range of services. In 2012, companies in Europe lacked payments of 350 billion euro for products and services that they sold. And this is a rising trend. Therefore, our mission is important. And we continue to work for companies in Europe to be able to reduce their credit risk and secure a more stable cash flow. After 90 years, Intrum Justitia is the market-leading credit management company in Europe. If we continue to develop to meet our clients' continuously changing needs, it's likely that we will continue to be so in the future.